Hi there, Evan here with Crypto and Markets for Monday, July 8th, 2019. What I want to talk about today was some of the recent price action in Canadian government bond yields. Now, if you follow me here on YouTube, you follow me on Twitter, you'll know recently that the Canada two-year, ten-year yield curve recently inverted. And that's one of the yield curves I follow as an indicator of a future recession. It's the manner in which it inverted, though, that it's caught my eye and is my reason for today's video. Now, all Canadian government yields, really from the 10-year on up, have been essentially flat since about the later part of May. But the 2-year and 5-year yield have seen a big ramp up recently. In fact, to put this in context, I'm going to overlay a chart here now of the Canadian 2-year bond yield. And as you can see, it's had a big move here up since about the later part of May, albeit from low levels, I understand that. But that 0619 data I have on there is rather significant. That's the date where that um, really hot CPI came out, where vegetable pricing has shown a big rise year over year. There's a few things at play here. As you can see, we've had the parabolic move up, move up ever since. There's a few things at play here. As I mentioned in a previous video, the Bank of Canada, I think, is legitimately worried about cutting rates too fast because of its impact on the currency. And declining currency, what does it always lead to? Household inflation. Prices of basic household goods and essentially things we need to live our everyday lives because they're predominantly denominated in U.S. dollars, if the Canadian dollar goes down, our household prices, of course, do go up. So they're worried about it from that sense. Now, where am I getting at with this? I made a prediction around about, I think, two weeks ago, saying that the Bank of Canada was going to join the Federal Reserve when the Fed does the rate cut in July, we'd cut right afterwards. I don't think because of this, the Bank of Canada is going to follow the first rate cut the Federal Reserve does. And that's the reason we've seen the big run up in the short end. And that's what I'm getting at. And really, I mean, even as Steve Suretsky brought up in his video a couple of days ago, it just doesn't seem a big impetus for the Bank of Canada to get involved. I mean, we had another, uh, Decline year over year in auto sales in Canada for, I believe, the 16th straight month in uh, June. The Bank of Canada didn't even buy any mortgage bonds last quarter. So it just doesn't seem the impetus there, at the, or they're giving any incl inclination, so to speak, that they're going to go ahead and cut rates right away. And that's what I'm getting at. So to put a long story short, my new prediction, based on everything I've outlined briefly in this video, the Bank of Canada will cut rates this year, but they're not going to cut right away. They're probably going to cut in the fourth quarter. In fact, there's even a chance now they might even wait until next year. But again, I'll stick with my base case in the previous video. They will cut rates once in 2019, but now they won't join the Fed in July with their insurance rate cut. They'll join the Fed on their second rate cut that's going to happen this year, likely in the fourth quarter. All I really got to say, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what, what, what uh, y'all think about this. Do you think I'm right? Do you have another opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter at CryptoMarkets2. Have a good day, everybody.